guys, welcome to another episode of DIY Runway and I've gotten such great feedback last time. I know that a lot of you tried out the Christopher Kane clutch and I've actually decided to add a new section at the end of the video where I'm gonna showcase your creations uh, following my tutorials. Anyway, today we're doing something really awesome. I know that holographic designs have been really in for the spring season and even the winter season a little bit. I'm specifically really fascinated by the Stella McCartney Resort Collection as well as Prenza Resort Collection 2013. They had these really beautiful holographic multifaceted print design and I wanted to make one of my own and actually this is going to be a unprecedented DIY tutorial using pretty much all office supplies. You guys know I usually use fabrics and like really high quality materials not saying that this is less quality but it's just something a little more different getting thinking out of the box so here we have Mod Podge uh, CDs which I'm gonna explain later then we have the uh, sponge applicators holographic glitter scissors some nice jewel tones for the clutch closing and then the clutch itself which is gonna be out of this office folder so you don't even have to make your own clutch and then right here we have all sorts of paper probably the most important one is this one right here and it is a it has like a peel back stick on paper and it has this sort of a holographic sheen to it I'm not a huge fan of the little lines stripes things but this is the best that I could have done in such a short amount of time that I had to shop for this project and yeah and the rest is just for the lining and for the outside of the clutch anyway so this is kind of the rundown of it all and let's get started so you're gonna start by taking your holographic film and then you're just gonna measure around the clutch to see however much you need, mark it with a pencil and trim the edges. Now that you have that, peel the back off and very carefully place it onto your clutch. I suggest going from the bottom, working your way from the bottom to the top so you don't have any air pockets, which will happen and if they do, you can always unpeel it and redo it again because it is plastic so it's not gonna tear. Same thing for the front, um, I'm just kind of slowly dropping it down and for the clasp that got stuck in there, I'm just gonna cut it out with the X-Acto knife and um, take it out like that. Now for the flat part, I decided to get a little fancy, so I have my little lining that is uh, actually a flocked paper, so it has a bit of a fabric finish. I'm just going to cut it out, kind of stencil it out, and put, place it on the flap. Um, if you want, you can cover that with Mod Podge to give it a seal and shine if you're afraid it's going to get wet or anything. So for this one, I'm just using fabric glue. Now for the finishing um, holographic part is your flap of the clutch and then I'm just directly placing it on it and as you can see I left a little bit at the edges so I can uh, fold it over so I'm just cutting these slits so it nicely folds over and um, yeah that's just gonna give it a nice finished look and it'll look neat and that's kind of it. You could leave your clutch just like this, it looks nice, but I decided to take it a step further and add some embellishments. So take a plate with hot water, boiling water, and place your CD in. I know it's so crazy, just wait five or six minutes, It will the bond will soften up a little bit. As you know, CDs are kind of glued, made out of two parts. I'm cutting it in half so I can split it into two parts easily from the middle so that's just gonna make it a lot thinner and easier to cut and it'll look a lot nicer it won't look like a CD at all so now I'm just gonna cut it into little triangles and you can cut in triangles squares trapezes or whatever trapeze or anything you want to cut it in um, that'll give you that nice embellished look so now I'm just gonna glue the jewel on the flap and this is just a little touch the Prenza or Stella McCartney clutch didn't have any of those things but I decided to add my own touch so I'm using the E6000 glue to uh, glue each of these pieces individually and I'm just kind of piecing them as a puzzle as I go um, I'm also leaving a little bit of a space in between I think it looks a lot nicer that way so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, bedazzle the flap part Try to fall 
So if you don't have holographic film or you just can't find that anywhere, just take a silver paper and then cover it with holographic glitter and give it that nice shine and protection with Mod Podge. So, I just finished the clutch. I kind of feel like I'm on the news or something standing behind this desk. Um, yeah, it took me a little while. It actually got dark outside a couple hours ago. So, yeah, here it is. I really love the end result. I was a little bit unsure about this project just because kind of like it's hard to make a holographic print or finish look, I don't know, elegant and classy, but I think this turned out pretty darn good. This, I made it a couple days ago for my office. Yeah, I'm kind of going with the whole beach theme. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's the clutch, that was it. Uh, it has a leopard lining inside, I think it's really nice. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I absolutely had fun making this. Um, don't forget to tag your creations with DIY Runway on Instagram or Twitter. And if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, you should because I post a lot of like my little projects like this that I do around the house and stuff. So. Um, anyway, I hope that you like this video and I love you guys so much Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are not subscribed yet to my channel And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye I also wanted to officially announce my partnership with Disney I just uploaded my first DIY tutorial on their Disney style channel So make sure to check that out